you know, you get some spectacular aerial views of the world around you. I, I think it's wonderful for that. But I think it's a little bit hazardous when you start thinking about the idea of just planes flying around at random and what people are doing with them. I think it's a, it's a, a bit of a double-edged sword that we have that. You know, those lines get, will, get, will get crossed, as we saw at the U.S. Open just yesterday. A guy apparently flying it around in the park thought... I don't know what he thought. I don't know what he was planning to do. Maybe he... I don't know. I have no idea. But it appears that he just lost control of his drone and it went, you know, careening into the stands. And thankfully, nobody got hurt. It takes those kind of catastrophes to happen before we start really examining what we're doing with these sort of things. The tech... It takes us a long time to catch up with the technology. We, we, we invent things and they do great things. And then we think later, oh, you know, maybe we ought to put something on that to prevent that from happening. Or we maybe really we shouldn't do this. So Well, that's, the, that's how it works with all... As you mentioned new technology from computer to the drones you know thank goodness no one was hurt in this incident and people will take a closer look now um you know what type of training requirements do we have and of course there could be equipment malfunction that has nothing to do with the operator itself sometimes i think we over panic about the things that we need to feel like we need to legislate